Let's take a look at a fairly typical stoichiometry problem where we're figuring out how much product we can make from a given amount of reactant. And here's the problem we're working with. How many grams of barium phosphate can be produced by reacting 15.28 grams of barium nitrate with excess phosphoric acid? The things that should key us in on this being a stoichiometry problem is I'm asking for how much product I can make from a given amount of reactant. That that's a pretty typical stoichiometry problem. So let's pull a few little pieces of information out of the problem and then uh, we can get down to the details. So first of all, what am I working with? I am looking for barium phosphate. What is barium phosphate? Barium phosphate, barium is BA, phosphate is PO4 minus three, that's one of your uh, polyatomic ions. What about the charge on that phosphate? Well, let's take a look at a periodic table up here and figure out barium. So barium is right here in the second column of the periodic table. So we expect that it's probably going to be a plus two ion. So put that away, save it for later. We've got barium plus two. So barium phosphate, I've got plus two and minus three. That means that I probably need six positive charges balancing six negative charges. Barium phosphate. What else do we have in the problem? We've got barium nitrate. Well, we already know barium is plus two. Nitrate is NO3 minus. That's another one of your polyatomics. So if barium's plus two and nitrate is minus one, I must need two nitrates for every barium. So there's my barium nitrate formula. And phosphoric acid, what is phosphoric acid? It's one of those mineral acids um, that's based on polyatomic ions. So phosphoric acid is the acid form of phosphate ions. So phosphoric acid is H3 because we expect hydrogen to be plus one, PO4. So now we've got our important pieces of chemical information. That's a product, that's a reactant, that's a reactant. What kind of chemical reaction are we working with here? Well, we've got two ionic reactants forming, well, it looks like we just swapped partners. So this is a metathesis reaction. Let's write out the entire metathesis reaction and then we can get to the rest of our stoichiometry problem. So barium nitrate plus phosphoric acid gives us barium phosphate. And what else? Metathesis, we're swapping the partners. So Barium is now with phosphate. That means that hydrogen must be with nitrate. So HNO3. Not really important for the problem we're looking at. It's not something it's asking for, but we need that correctly balanced equation in order to do the stoichiometry problem. So there are all my species. This doesn't look like it's balanced yet, right? Because I've got Three, or three bariums over here. I've only got one barium present. So I must need three barium nitrates. Three nitrates or three barium nitrates mean that I must have six nitrate ions. So I must have six over here. Six Hydrogens means that I must have 
two phosphoric acids and my two phosphate ions. Well, good, we've got two phosphate ions. So there's my correctly balanced chemical equation. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, let me just rewrite that all in black, three barium nitrates plus two phosphoric acids give me barium phosphate and HNO3. So there we're in good shape. Now the problem is telling me that I've got, let me scoot this up just a little bit so I can make one more note and then we can put that away. I'm going to drag that down here so we don't lose track of our periodic table. The problem is telling me that I've got 15.28 grams of barium nitrate. So let me jot that down. 15.28 grams of barium nitrate and it's asking for how many grams of barium phosphate we want. All right, I think I've got all the information I need out of the problem up here. So let's go ahead and just drag this up where we don't really need it anymore. Okay, step one, complete. We've written the balanced chemical equation. Step two, find the moles of something that we've got enough information to find moles of. I'm gonna go back to a little bit bigger pen um, for here. I know how many grams of barium nitrate I've got to start with. So let's find moles of barium nitrate. So 15.28 grams of barium nitrate. And now I'm gonna need the formula mass because I need to find moles. So let's take a look at that formula mass. Let me drag my periodic table over here and blow it up a little bit again. And now I can jot down some numbers here. I've got, I've got one barium. I've got two nitrogens and I've got six oxygens. From the periodic table, barium is 137.33 gram per mole. Nitrogen is 14.007 grams per mole. And I've got two of them. Oxygen is 15.999 grams per mole. And I've got six of those. So adding up my formula mass, let me put away my periodic table again. Adding up my formula mass, good old calculator. 261.338 grams per mole barium nitrate. All right, so back up here, I've got 15 grams and I know that this is 261.338 grams per mole. So I must have grams down here and moles up here. And I'm gonna be pretty explicit about this. Moles, barium, nitrate and grams barium nitrate. Two six one point three three eight grams per one mole barium nitrate. That gives me zero point zero five eight four six eight three moles barium nitrate. 
Remember, we needed our units, grams of barium nitrate, grams of barium nitrate, to cancel out properly so that we're left with moles of barium nitrate as our answer. Okay, that's step two. We found moles of barium nitrate. Now, just a quick note, this is way too many sig figs. That's okay. I'm in the middle of a problem. So I'm gonna carry extra sig figs all the way through and I'm gonna round when I get to the end. Let's move that up a little bit more. You know what, instead of moving it, I think what I'm gonna do is just erase this little bit to give myself some room. All right, so moles of barium nitrate. Now, use the balanced equation to convert moles of what you know to moles of what you're looking for. We're looking for barium phosphate here. I've got 0 0.0584683 moles of barium nitrate. And now from the balanced chemical equation, I know that, let's grab that color. I know that three moles of barium nitrate react to form one. We don't always write the explicit ones, but three moles form one mole of barium phosphate. So, Moles of barium nitrate, I need moles barium nitrate on the bottom. And I'm looking for moles of barium phosphate. So let's put moles of barium phosphate on the top. And the relationship from the balanced chemical equation is three to one. Again, let's make sure that we're being pretty explicit about crossing out our units and back into the calculator. Now I didn't actually clear my calculator, so I'm just going to keep going on this. So that's times one divided by three. That is 0 0.01948945 moles barium phosphate. All right, that was step three. Now step four, take moles of what I'm interested in and turn it into whatever I wanna know about it. So in this case, I wanna know grams. That was part of the original problem. Let me give myself a little bit more space. We don't need to see the chemical equation anymore because we've got all the information out of that. Let's roll this up here and Again, starting with 0 0.01948945 moles barium phosphate. Well, here again, I'm going to need a formula mass. So let's quick jot down. I've got now three bariums. I've got two phosphorus, and now I've got eight oxygen. So three times, I'm just going to write this down before I open up my periodic table. Let's get that periodic table back over here and open her up. So barium, we looked up that one before, 137.33 grams per mole. Phosphorus, 30.974 grams per mole. And oxygen, 15.999 grams per mole. Thank you, periodic table. Periodic table away again.
add those up. Six zero one point nine three grams per mole. Yikes, that's a heavy one. All right, back up to our problem. I've got moles of barium phosphate. So now I need moles of barium phosphate down here. and grams of barium phosphate up there. One mole is 601.93 grams. Our units cancel correctly. So we've got grams of barium phosphate. Again, let me Grab that in the calculator, 601.93 and 11.73128 grams of barium phosphate. Now I better take care of those significant figures. So looking back all the way at the beginning of the problem, I was given a four sig fig input. I did all multiplication and division. So my result should have four sig figs. Rounding this to four sig figs, that should be 11.73 grams barium phosphate. So we made it through a stoichiometry problem where we found the mass of product that we could get from a given mass of reactant. Keep an eye out for that type of problem. These types, these type of problems always get approached the same way with that four-step approach that we've talked about for stoichiometry. Go out there and get some practice in and good luck.